In this video, I want to explain why contractors struggle with sales. The sales start before the phone call. The sales start at the very beginning. When they first see your company on social media, when they find your company through Google, when they see a flyer with your business name or something like that. When they hear about your company, that's when sales start. And what you should do in the beginning is try to differentiate your company from all these different contractors in your area. And that way, it will be a lot easier for you to close that project. So many contractors focus on the sales call. But for example, if you have 50 leads, but all those leads are really low in quality, you will not get good results as somebody who gets five leads that are really high in quality. But how can you get leads that are higher in quality? So that's basically what I want to show you in this video. I want to explain how you can position your company properly and how you can differentiate yourself from all these different contractors in order to get higher quality leads. So like I said in the beginning, selling starts before that sales call. You need to make sure that when somebody goes to your website, that when somebody Googles your company, that they'll be able to see things that will help them make that decision to work with you instead of somebody else. So what are some of these things that people are actually looking for when they're trying to hire a new company? Well, that depends on your industry. For example, if you're a plumber, the process of positioning your company will not be the same as if you're a remodeling company or a different kind of company. A lot of contractors use lead reselling websites. And the problem with these kind of websites is that all these companies kind of look the same. The only things that make them different are the number of reviews, maybe pictures of their work, and the price. And you don't want to compete on the price, but there's only so much you can do with that. And in my opinion, you should focus on things that you have absolute control over. That's your website. The beautiful thing about your website is that it's your salesman that works for you 24 seven. So if you include all that critical information that people are actually looking for on your website, and you use your website to convince those people to work with you instead of somebody else, when that person speaks with you over the phone, that person will be halfway closed. A lot of websites you see online don't convince people to buy. And I'm not saying you need to have something that's completely unique, that you need to be the best remodeling company in the United States or something like that. But you need to make sure that your website is at least on the level of your top competitors, if not better. So basically, you need to work on improving your brand. You need to make sure that your brand properly positions your company so that people want to work with you instead of somebody else. Your social media profiles, your website, your Google My Business profile, all these different profiles that you might have online will help you in one way or another to get more leads. For example, if you have optimized social media pages, uh, you have a Facebook page, you have an Instagram page, and maybe some other social media sites, and most people might not care about those sites but somebody who is always on these sites will find your company there, or they might look up your company on these kind of websites and they see that you're active and that will help you close that lead. Now, of course, you shouldn't try to focus on every little thing, but focus on your website the most because that's something you have absolute control over. Targeting as well will be absolutely crucial when it comes to getting higher quality leads. For example, if you advertise on social media, you will reach a lot of people but a lot of those people are not necessarily interested in working with you. So you might get a lot of leads, but most of those leads will be really low in quality. Meanwhile, if you focus, for example, on SEO or Google ads, but Google ads are really expensive. SEO is something I recommend to absolutely every single contractor I meet because it gives you that proper foundation you need in order to start getting more leads online. SEO is just a term for optimizing the website and your Google My Business profile in order to show up on Google when people search for your services in your city. So for example, if you're a remodeling contractor, if somebody searches for remodeling services on Google in a specific area that you serve, if your website and your Google My Business profile are optimized for SEO, you will basically show up at the top. Maybe not at the top, but near the top. And think about it this way. Somebody who goes to Google and they search for bathroom remodeling contractors in XYZ city, majority of those people that actually look up those search terms are actually looking to hire somebody. So if you can get a hundred website visitors that search for those particular search terms that show you that they're actually interested in your services and that they actually want to buy, you will get a lot higher close rate than somebody who runs social media ads or gets leads through these lead reselling websites. So to summarize, I want to give you a few tips so you can apply in your business in order to get much better results. First of all, your website, it needs to look good and it needs to be optimized for Google. By optimizing your website for Google, which is basically just doing SEO, you will get website visitors that are actually interested in your services and this will help you get higher quality leads. Aside from doing this, your website should also contain all the information that will convince people to work with you instead of somebody else. 
Now, of course, it will depend from business to business. But if you're a remodeler, people will be looking for pictures of your work. They will be looking at your experience. They'll be looking at who you are. They're willing to pay a lot of money for a project. And they want to make sure that the company they hire is actually trustworthy, that they do good work and all of that. It will depend from business to business. So you need to sit down, think about your customers and what exactly are they looking for. And then make sure that your website addresses all those questions they have. And that will help you get more leads. And not only will that help you get more leads, but it will also help you close a lot more leads as well. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Of course, I wanted to keep this video really short. I'll be recording a lot more videos on this topic to expand it and to give you more advice. But if you have any questions or you need any help, feel free to go to the website. The link is in the video description. Fill out the contact form and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But that's basically it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.